you guys. We're getting ready to embark on a great adventure. I hope you've already seen the travel vlog that goes with this. And But today we are starting our hike. We're gonna do 15 miles, um, hopefully in three days. And um, we're gonna camp at a couple of ponds and go up and over Stratton Mountain, which is a pretty special place on the AT. Um, that's right, we are on the AT as well as the Vermont Long Trail. So come along, stay with me, and let's see what this adventure holds for us. And it is already raining, and it is Vermont, so I'm sure there's gonna be some mud. Hopefully some beaver, some moose, who knows what kind of um, animals or um, craziness will happen on this trip. So I will see you down the trail. So we have started the trail. Um, starts off with a one mile road walk and then it should be two miles on trail to get to our campsite, which is gonna be right on a pond. So. <laughs> I'm, it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're done with our road walk. We are headed to Branch Pond, which is two miles from here. And we are greeted with mud right away. <laughs> My new shoes, I already have mud on them. This is absolutely where the fairies hang out. Might as well just keep my phone out because there's fungus every 32 seconds. Okay guys, you have got to see this. This thing is the biggest one I've seen. Look how big that is. I mean, that's a big old shelf. Picture of something's out in the end of us trying to hide. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is the creek. This creek is the trail. Is born pond, why not? <laughs> we are night hiking. Here we are. <laughs> We've made it to where we're camping. Now we just gotta find a camp spot. So this way. All right, we've made it to the pond. Now we just gotta find camp. Oh. 
All right, this is what's for dinner. I knew it was going to be raining today, so I was going to want something hot and hearty. So we just have some instant potatoes. I put a little bit of Vermont cheddar cheese in it. And uh, after this, I'm going to hang my food bag and head to bed. Good morning. Um, so we got in, I think I got to bed about 8.30 last night. Um, it was very dark when we got here. So obviously I got dressed in the dark and I'm inside out and backwards um, for my sleeping clothes. So that's funny. Um, we couldn't see the pond at all. It was pitch black. We knew it was right here, but we couldn't see it. Um, so it's beautiful this morning. It's peaceful. It's not raining. Um, there is, there is some wind, but, um, it's a beautiful morning. I'm just glad it's not raining. Um, there's a slight chance of it raining today, but, um, hopefully that doesn't come to be, um, true. So, um, but we found the, um, fire ring and like the actual campsite. <laughs> we just... Put up our hammocks wherever we could find them so i'll show you where we're at uh, right now okay so this is the campfire um ring and uh, i would say this area is great for tents and then just off to the left is my hammock right here um, i'm facing the pond so um, if i could have done porch mode last night i would have but it was too rainy and windy for that and the ground's too soppy and then Susie, my hiking partner, I don't know if we'll be able to see her from here, but she's back, right back here. This morning, it doesn't look very appetizing, but we're having a veggie chorizo egg scramble um, with cheddar cheese and some picante sauce on a shell. So... And this is what I get to look at while I eat it. Good morning. So, um, 
think the last time you saw me was yesterday morning. Um, I did not have the right charger to charge my phone, so I couldn't record a lot. Um, so you will see um, some pictures and videos from my hiking partner. She was nice enough to get some shots for me. Um, so some of the stuff you would have seen from yesterday would have been from that. I only opened my phone up a couple of times. So, um, so we got, let me see, yesterday was really hard. Um, the first uh, couple of miles to Bourne Pond where we had lunch, um, wasn't terrible. It did rain a lot, um, yesterday. Um, we stopped and had lunch. And then um, we had three miles to come here to Stratton Pond uh, Shelter, uh, which is on the AT. Um, and that was probably the most difficult three miles I've ever done in my life. Um, the elevation wasn't that bad, actually, um, but the mud was unreal. Um, I was up to my knees in, in one place um, in, in mud. Um, and we had the beaver dam um, situation we had to go around. So um, you will have seen some pictures of that. Um, we had to cross um, the water there and we had to um, bushwhack through some pretty horrific um, uh, trees and, and um, it was awful. It was awful. Um, and then uh, it's just so we could get to a an easier place to cross that, um, the water there. So yeah, that was, um, pretty awful. Um, was totally freaking out thinking I was going to have to, um, cross that. I was thankful to have Susie with me. So, um, you know, only cried a little bit. <laughs> she went first and she made it okay. So, um, I followed after her and, uh, and we made it. So, um, it took quite a while before the water cleared up on trail, um, before you were on regular trail. Um, we lost the trail a couple of times. There was one place that the there were all these blowdowns on a water crossing, and it looked like we were supposed to cross the creek when actually we were supposed to veer to the left, and there was no blue blaze to tell us that. So I had to get my phone out to navigate um, to navigate that and get us back on track. Um, it was a little confusing when we got to Stratton Pond, just trying to figure out exactly where we needed to go. Um, and there was actually that um, boardwalk that went across the pond, um, which was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we had a view of Stratton Mountain, um, which was really nice. So you would have seen pictures of that. And then I think from there, it was like three quarters of a mile to get to camp. So uh, we got to camp. There were some three AT through hikers that had flip-flopped. So they're on their way south now. Um, and then we had a Vermont long trail through hiker here as well. He had just started. So he's on day four. Today's day five. And um, one of the AT through hikers had a cord for me to use. So I was able to charge my phone. Um, it got to about 70%. My, my anchor power bank is so slow. I, I don't understand why my cheap Walmart one can do a better job than the anchor one that costs more. <laughs> I don't know, but that's as far as I could get before they went to bed. So um, I needed to give him his cord back before he went to bed. Um, but yeah, this morning has been really chill. Um, the Vermont Long Trail through hiker was playing the ukulele this morning after everybody else had left. It was really nice and peaceful. Um, we were contemplating yesterday and today um, whether we wanted to actually climb Stratton Mountain or not. I mean, I want to, but we're physically and mentally exhausted from yesterday. Um, I did sleep in the shelter, so I didn't have to deal with my hammock. I didn't want to set that up um, and have to deal with it this morning. Um, just cause I was not feeling the best. I was in a lot of pain. Um, so there is a two mile trail. Um, there's a, like a small loop and then there's the bigger loop that we were going to do. And there's a, a two mile trail that leads us straight to our car. Um, so we are going to take that. Um, 
it sucks to not go up the mountain. But um, it's taken us so long to get through these miles that um, the seven miles it's going to take to get up and over this mountain, I think, is going to be too much. And there's a good chance that we would be night hiking. So... So we've decided to do the two miles to the car. That's the best route. That's what we need to do. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And we're just, um, I'm all packed up. Susie's almost packed up. And then we're going to head to our car and decide where we're camping or staying at tonight. Um, and then she'll go on her way. Um, and she may go on her way when we get to the trailhead. Um, she's going north to Maine and... Um, to meet up with some other friend in New York and um, and then I'm coming back home so but I'll record you know whatever I get into after this um, whew, um, if, wherever I decide to camp and all of that I'll make sure to record all that because I'll be fine to record now once I get to my car I've got my chargers in my car <laughs> So, anyways, this has been a memorable experience for sure, and I'm looking forward to the next two miles um, to get out of here. Um, I don't think the two miles is going to be that bad, elevation-wise. It's pretty similar to what we've been doing, and then there's a big downhill to get to the car. So, um, yeah, so I think I've probably blabbed on enough <laughs> that... Um, I'll just see you when we get um, back on trail. So, see you in a bit. All right, we are on trail, and this is the trail that's going to lead us back to our car. So, we'll be back there shortly, hopefully. All right, guys, we have found the road. We have been told by some um, previous Ohioans, current Vermontodians, whatever they are, that our cars are down here. So a bear has not mauled them and no one's taken off with them. And we survived. <laughs> We've made it. All right, guys, we've made it back to the car. Um, definitely a little bruised. This is from our um, uh, bushwhacking to get around the beaver dam. Um, and I uh, got stabbed by some sticks a few times, but we, we have made it. Um, I definitely don't regret the decision now. Um, to skip the mountain even though that would have been great to do um, we can always come back so 
the mountain's not going anywhere. Um, but so this is it. Um, we don't have signal, so we have to find town. Um, so we're going to figure that out and um, that'll be it for this adventure. And then I will let you all know in the next video um, is going to be what, how I get home. So where I end up staying and camping and all that. So I will see you in the next video. Um, see you then.